In terms of the portfolio, we've taken a decision that we will in future be focusing our energy and efforts on our pan-African strategy. This is, of course, you know, close to home for the group. It's where you know, the vast bulk of our earnings and EBITDA come from. This means that we will, over the medium term and in an orderly manner, exit our Middle Eastern assets. Um, they contribute circa 3% or so of group EBITDA at this stage, so a relatively modest contribution. Of course, those environments have become increasingly complex over the last while, and we believe this will simplify the portfolio and enable you know, a much sharper focus on the Pan-African strategy. And as the first part of this uh, shift in portfolio, we announced that we are in advanced discussions to sell our 75% stake in MTN Syria. We hope to conclude that you know, over the months ahead. We essentially have four, four assets in the Middle East. We have three subsidiary companies in Syria, Yemen, and Afghanistan. And then we have our 49% investment in M10 Iran cell. Um, you know, certainly the focus in, uh, in phase one is to focus on the consolidated subsidiaries, uh, the three that I've just described. Um, for the investment in M10 Iran cell, I mean, obviously that's, you know, that's a material investment. Like any investment, you would like to see it generating a yield. You would like to see it increasing in value. Um, and there, I think, you know, although over time we will see a full exit, um, that is definitely one that we will, you know, take our time and make sure that, you know, we can work with our partners there and generate, you know, full value for the group. The optimization and asset realization program, I think we know that we uh, realized the ATC Ghana and Uganda JV, so 8.8 .8 billion of proceeds came into the group. Um, on the advanced services in fintech, we're also announcing that we are increasing our shareholding in IO to 75%. That is the insurance joint venture I referred to earlier. Um, on Jumia, we've seen a significant increase in the Jumia share price in the last while. The group's investment in Jumia um, at the last uh, you know, valuations is around four and a half billion rand. And we will be uh, you know, looking at uh, moving forward with that in the months ahead and we have our regulatory filings in place to facilitate a sale there. And finally, uh, we are also announcing that we are in advanced discussions on the disposal of our 20% shareholding in BIX, the carrier company, and that has a holding value um, in the group of around 2.3 billion. So, you know, it's good to get the JVs behind us. It looks like we can still make progress, you know, ideally on uh, BIX and potentially Jumia. For the rest of the program, it's definitely been slowed down by the volatility in the capital markets, but we are using this time to make sure that we are fully prepared as and when markets improve.